subclasses always have to initialize the properties of its superclass to make sure that all properties get set and initialized correctly. This is done by calling super.init, as you can see in line seven. In line nine, create a variable called myTriangle that is a triangle. So here we have a class called shape. We can specify how many sides the shape has. And you can see that we have an initializer where we pass in a parameter called sides, that's an integer, and then we say self.sides equals sides. We also have a class called triangle, and it's a subclass of shape. We now have an initializer here, and we have to call super.init sides of three to initialize this subclass correctly. Now, this is a simplified example because for this class, we have not yet added any default, any properties or methods for the subclass. Okay, in line nine, create a variable called my triangle. That's a triangle. So we say var my triangle equals a triangle. And the way you call this initializer now is you still, ah, because in the super.init, we already set the sides equal to three. The way to call this initializer is just like this. There is no parameter that you add into the triangle initializer when you call it because all of that is done inside the init function. We basically give it a default value of three sides because every triangle has three sides. So when we now print this, you can see that it prints three for the triangle.